Hello, here's another application problem which involves quadratic functions, right? Let's go through the statement. The problem statement is a right triangle has base length of 8 cm more than the height. If the area of the triangle is 96 cm square, determine the height of the triangle. So, what do we have? We have a right angle triangle here, okay? Let's try to sketch this and then we'll try to figure out how to do it okay so this is a right angle triangle here let's say this is a triangle okay now so what is given to us a right triangle so this is 90 degrees has base length of 8 centimeter more than the height so let's say height is let's say h right so base is h plus 8 do you understand and the area of the triangle is given as 96 centimeters. What is area of a triangle? Area of the triangle is half of base times height, correct? So area of the triangle is half of base is this times height. So in a way, we have already done it in single variable. So it should be easy for us to do. Well, we could have done like this, let the base be B and height be H. Now it says, base length is 8 centimeters both than height so base is h plus 8 well that's okay so base is h plus 8 correct so that's what it is now uh, what is the area of a triangle area is 96 centimeters square right so this times this should give us 96 centimeters correct so we'll we'll start doing with area okay so area of the triangle is half and what is the base for us h plus 8 times h and area is given as 96 so we'll write 96 equals to half we can open this bracket right so it gives us h square plus 8h. Is it okay? So I'll multiply by 2 here. So when I do that, so it is 6 times 2, 12, and 9 times 2, 18, and 1, 192, right? Equals to h square plus 8h. So I'll bring all the terms together, and we have 0 equals to h square plus 8h minus 192. And now we need to factor it or we can also use quadratic formula to figure this out. Correct? So we need two numbers whose multiple is 192 and whose sum is 8. Now one way to do it is like this. We can try out factors of 192. Now so we can write 192 here and the factors could be and the difference has to be 8, right? So will it go by 4? Yes, I think so, because 4 times 2 is 8, and then 12 can go. So we can try with 4. So we say it could be 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16, and then 32. 4 times, and then you get 48. So 4 times 48 is this, correct. Now we can further split it, because this is not a difference of this. So four, 12 times 4, right? Yeah. So, so 12 times 4 is 48. So let me write this as 4 and 12. Okay. So, so we have 4 and 12 now. To get product of this, we can multiply these, but we need a difference of 8. So if we have 4 times 4, 16 and 12, it doesn't really work for us. So we need to go further down and we could do 12 as 3 times 4, right? 3 times 4. Now, this combination of numbers is we can combine 4, 4, 16 and 2, 32. So, we can further split it like 2. Okay. 4, 4, 16 and 2, 32. And on this side, we have 4 times 3, 12, and 
24 and 24 and 32 yes I think we got our numbers okay it, this process could be tricky at times but here the idea is to show you the technique of doing it okay so so we can do this factorization and we are left with these sets do you see that this number 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 2 is 24 so this is my one number 24 and the other number is 4 times 4 16 times 2 gives me 32 so the other number is 32 of course when I multiply these I'm going to get 192 but here I got to see whether I get plus 8 or not to get plus 8 this should be negative and that should be positive do you understand the concept of doing it when there are big numbers it is better to factor them like I did prime factorization you remember you did it in grade 7 and 8 and now it is so helpful to you that gives us our magic numbers and we can now write this as in the factored form h plus 32 times h minus 24 correct so therefore from here h could be minus 32 h can never be minus 32 but h can be 24 so we say height equals to 24 so if height is 24 what is base base is equals to 24 plus 8 24 plus 8 is 32 so this is our base and height correct and answer we should always write complete statement for answer clearly the answer is determine the height of the triangle that's it so the height of the triangle is how much 24 what centimeters don't forget to write units okay that's very important I am I think you understand the process question was not all that difficult we had a height and we had base which was 8 more than the height area was given to us this is a simple problem relatively but factoring this big number can be tricky at times if you get stuck here you can always resort to quadratic formula remember that so you could write h equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a where a is 1, b is 8, and c is minus 192. Then also you should get the same answer. Correct? I hope you appreciate the way we factored and approached. Thank you.